So now we're going to talk about Rose Etude number 20. Um, this is in 3-8 and is Allegro Vivace. And for your all-state recording, the required tempo is dotted quarter equals 60. So 60 to the entire measure. Um, it's a pretty quick tempo. Um, I would practice this in a subdivide dotted quarter. So your dotted quarter divided into three eighth notes, each eighth note in the measure. So if we listen to that at 60, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So our speed is gonna be one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one. So that's your goal. Um, make sure you start at a tempo that you can play everything 100% correctly. Don't let yourself practice any mistakes. Um, so it could be that you play um, eighth note equals 60 in the very beginning. Um, as long as you give yourself plenty of time to get faster, uh, you'll be fine. And you'll make faster progress starting at whatever tempo you have to start where it's absolutely clean than kind of trying to go faster than you can actually go at first. Um, you might consider practicing this all slurred when you start learning it, so you don't have to think about the articulation. If you feel like the articulation messes you up at all, then just, just work on it a bit all slurred until you're really comfortable with the notes and can give more thought to the articulation. Um, the articulation is almost uh, completely the same in each bar, just two measures before the repeat sign, it's different and then measures 23 and 24 is also a different pattern. But besides that, it's always, we're slurring the first 3 16th notes, tonguing the next 3 16th notes. Um, so that should be relatively easy to keep track of. Um, this is in G minor, right? So we have B flat and E flat in the key signature, and then, maybe a couple bars before that repeat sign, um, it kind of modulates to E flat major. So we have A flat for, for a few measures. Um, so since we have E flat, um, there's a couple instances where we have to finger our left hand C. When we have C and E flat next to each other, make sure that you're not sliding down to your right hand E flat, but switching and playing C on the left. So that happens in measure 11, 12, and then 26. So um, you might want to just mark an L for left above those Cs so you, you remember to do that. Um, probably the trickiest part of this etude is the trills, right? So that happens in measure 17 through 20. Um, since the tempo is so fast, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. We have a trill and grace notes in the space of one of those eighth notes. Um, so I think there's only time to do one trill. So I'm gonna play B flat, C, B flat. That's my one trill. And then those two grace notes that are there, the A and B flat. So it's really five notes in that one eighth note. Um, and this is also a little tricky fingering wise, a little, um, little bit awkward. You want to make sure to use your trill fingering for C, right? Don't try, to, don't try to finger it out. So B flat, C with the top two side keys, then back to B flat, okay? Um, so if I play that slowly, Okay, and then the trill is the same in all four bars. It's just the, the note on the second beat is changes. Um, so I'm gonna play that a little fat, uh, sorry, a little slower, um, so you could just hear it a little better. Um, so this is measure 17. recommend practicing it. 
just however slow you need to play it to get that really cleanly and get the, the eighth note with the trill to be five equal even notes. Um, and then just gradually speed up. So probably you'll be able to play the rest of this etude faster than those measures. Just, just give those measures the time they need um, to, to get to the, the same tempo as the rest of the etude. Um, which means you need to start practicing today um, and just, just keep at it, just keep working on it every day. Um, in terms of the breathing with this one, since the tempo is so fast, um, you should be able to play this only taking a breath, taking one breath in measure 16 in your eighth rest. Um, so you should be able to get from the beginning to that eighth rest and then to the end, to the downbeat of 31. If you need another breath, um, just breathe as quickly as you can, maybe on the bar line or between the slur and the articulated notes. Um, and you could also um, leave out a note here or there to take a breath. Um, make sure you record yourself well before your recording is due. I would just record yourself every week as you're learning these etudes just so you get used to how you sound. And you'll notice things, you'll hear things on your recording that you don't hear as you're playing. So you'll have... Um, you'll have more things to work on. Um, and then plan on making your final recording maybe a week before it's due. So that way, if it doesn't turn out quite right, you have time to, to tweak it. Um, so happy practicing and good luck with your Allstate audition.